happy Friday, everyone. It is bright and early. It is 5.30 on Friday, and you guys can't see me. Oh, maybe that's better. I don't know. Our trash can is still out. These men, afraid of the rain, they don't want to bring the trash can in, apparently. Uh, I guess I don't either. <laughs> But really, that's the boys' jobs. So, yay, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Uh, I'm getting to work early. We have a meeting at 7. And then I'm hopefully going to hit it hard until about 12 or 1. And then I'm going to stop out of there. Oh, and I was going to go to Trader Joe's, and I don't think I have my list. But maybe I can recreate it. It's not a huge list. And there was no necessities, really. And I was thinking of going to Michael's and then to Joanne's because they're all right there in the same area. But I don't really need anything at any of those stores. Um, Michael's, I was thinking of going for their hot buys, but apparently they only do the hot buys on, on Thursday. So I missed that. So I don't think I'm going to... Michael's is my least... I don't know. I can't really say that because... It's a tie between Joanne and Michael's. To go to both of them in one day is a lot because I don't particularly care for either one of mine. I know that's awful to say, but I don't know. Sometimes I can find stuff, other times I can't. And Michael's, they changed it all around, so I never know where anything is anymore. So now I'm complaining, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I might go to Joanne's, though, because I know that there was... Well, I am expecting some things from Joanne.com, but there was one paper pack that Tanya had gotten that I thought was really pretty, and I couldn't get it online. They wouldn't uh, sell it to me online, even if I had to pick it up at the store. They it said I think they said that the quantity was zero, so I didn't... I wasn't able to get that, so maybe they'd have it in the store. I don't know. I guess it'd be worth a shot to check. Especially if they're still 50% off. Ooh, I should probably check that before I go because that might have been last week that I purchased this stuff. And it, they may not be on 50% off anymore. And I'm not paying full price. But I might have a coupon, so I guess I can check all of that before I go. And then Trader Joe's, I know I needed to get some dog treats. He loves those dog treats that they have there. Um, both Buttercup and Taz love them, so that's nice. Um, so what do I need? I need dog treats. I need, need. Um, I was going to get some stuff for Katie to send her a last care package for finals. And I wanted it to be like vegan-y stuff because I don't want to send her any things only because she's bringing everything home. So I thought if I sent her food, she might appreciate that for finals. I did buy her a bunch when we went to TJ Maxx. I really wish I would have done a haul video of what I purchased for her at TJ Maxx. You know what? I think she left it in her room. <gasps> I may be able to still steal all that and show you. Um, but she took the food, I think, with her, which I can't blame her. But um, yeah, I was, I was going to use some of that as her care package, but I didn't care. So I'll just get other stuff. Um, so maybe I'll make a trip back to TJ Maxx. Because there were these blueberry blueberry clustery things that she really seemed to enjoy. Oh, that's yellow. I don't know why I'm not going. I'm just sitting here like I have all day. I need to be going. Um... They had banana chips there. They had these little blueberry clustery, look like rice cake kind of things. They were little squares. She really seemed to like those, and she gave me a couple, and they were good. So that was nice. Um, I know Trader Joe's has some stuff that she really likes, so I'll get some of that. Uh, some raw nuts, and I don't know. I don't want to send her with a million things because I know she won't eat it all, but if I sent it this weekend or close to this weekend then I think that would be good because she'll have it like for a week and a half before final so she can 
have it then. Maybe I'll send her some popcorn. I don't know if she does popcorn anymore. My kids are weird. <laughs> Took me a long time to admit that. It really did. But it's true. My son is so excited about prom. I'm so happy for him. And they're going to go to a place called The Ram to eat dinner. Uh, they decided, which isn't super fancy, but it's nice. It's a nice place. And it's not too expensive, so they'll be able to get whatever they want. And it has good stuff. Like, there's a good variety of salads to burgers to fish, like salmon to... Um, steak. There's some steak. I don't know. I've, I've never gotten their steak, but I've, I actually love their burgers. I haven't been there forever. We used to go there a lot. We used to call it the Ramalama Ding Dong. <laughs> and we used to go like once a week at least, and then sometimes even it would be twice a week. It was crazy. We would go all the time. Um, my neighbors who lived down the street who are since divorced too, when, we, when I was married to my first husband, they have three kids, we had two kids, so we'd get this huge big table in the back, I mean, they knew we were coming. We'd sit there for an hour and a half, two hours, and have fun cocktails, and laugh, and just play. That was fun, that was good times. And then after our kids got a little older, we would go out as couples sometimes, and then when my ex and I broke up, I had a boyfriend for a few years, and he and I would go quite frequently. Actually, he's the one that coined the Ramalama Ding Dong, and we would go with my kids all the time. They loved it. And then he, he had a son, and so his son would go too sometimes, and he even loved it, which was great because his son was very picky at the time. And so we had a good time. It was lots of fun. And then... I don't know. We just stopped going. I haven't been forever. Now thinking about it, I'm like, I need a burger. I think they called it the stadium burger that I liked. It had mushrooms on it. Oh, I love mushrooms. And I used to get it vegetarian, like, because I would get the veggie be the pa patty. And then they changed the veggie patty to, um, like, a bean patty. It was, it's not good. It was like a refried bean patty wasn't black beans, it was like the refried beans. Blah. And that was awful, so I hated to tell them that, but they made, as far as I was concerned, a bad move with that. But, um, their burgers are really good. And then they make their own beer, they have their brewery or whatever they, you know, what's that called? Microbrewery? Brewery? That's hard to say. Okay, I need to get over in this car. Okay, he's letting me. I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, they had like a light. I only like light beer. I don't like the... Well, that's not true. I don't know. I'm not a big beer fan, so it has to be... I'm particular about my beers, but I can't tell you exactly what I like or what I don't like. Because like some darker beers, I do like, but they have to be really cold. And then most of the time I will go for the light beer and they have one called Blondie or something like that that I like so that was good times good times I don't know why I'm reminiscing and sharing you with all that but it's fun sometimes stories are fun and I'm honestly not the best at remembering stories my friend Linda who I've been friends with since we were 13 she can tell a story from us in high school and I'm laughing like I've never heard the story and I lived it but I don't remember it I mean I remember when she tells me I'm like oh yeah I kind of remember that but oh my gosh I I don't know what how I forget stuff like that but I just do I don't have that in my head which is probably a blessing and a curse all at once because sometimes you don't have to remember some of the maybe negative things but then on the other hand it's bad because you don't remember some of the good things either I don't have a new vest this is from TJ Maxx it's a, just a gray it's almost like a sweatshirty today's casual Friday I don't have on jeans though but I do have on leggings but this goes all the way down to like my knees so it covers up behind me for my leggings so that's good and um, has pockets has slits up to the I don't know. 
up to my hip, but not in a sexy way at all. <laughs> but it's it's really cute. I like it. $16.99. Ooh, this car just decided to cut in front of me and go that way. All right, mister. Um, so yeah, I like it for $16.99. It does the trick, and I think it's cute. And I can still wear my black shirts and my black pants. But I have a little bit of a different color, even though it's just gray. But it's like a sweatshirty kind of, like a heather gray. It's not sweatshirty material, but... I don't know. I would probably wear this even if it wasn't Casual Friday, but I think it is a little more casual than not. I haven't even worn my little fancy thing again since I wore it that one day because it's been so chilly. It's 43 degrees right now. I mean, like, I have the heat on in the car. It's that cold. And I'm not going to wear, like, an off-the-shoulder number when I'm freezing. And it, I'm not freezing very often, so... I guess I'm not freezing now, but I'm cold. I could shiver. See? <sighs> Ooh. I know some of you said, stop yawning on your vlogs. I can't help it. I'm tired. I know they're contagious. I need to put the defrost on. know that they are contagious so I'm gonna stop at Starbucks it is now like 5:45. stop at Starbucks get myself my drink and probably a breakfast sandwich or maybe some oatmeal Ooh, that sounds good and then I'm gonna hit hard at work and get that stuff tackled and yeah so I guess I'm going to let you guys go and I really appreciate all of you and I will talk with you soon. Bye. Well, hello everyone. It's Friday. I'm leaving work. I have to go pick up my husband's glasses at the optometrist. And I need to get cash out at the bank. And I need to pick something up to eat. It's about one o'clock here. I'm leaving a little bit later than I was hoping, but honestly, that's okay because I'm really not in the mood to go shopping. I was going to go to Trader Joe's. I was thinking of going to Michael's and to Joanne's. I really need nothing. And Tanya's going to be here. Not next week, but the week after. And the more I buy, the more I have to put away and find a spot for. And I don't know. It's dreary. It's 45 degrees. It's rainy and yucky. Not horrible, but... I kind of just want to be home. I'm going to go before these big old cars come. I kind of just want to be home and snuggled up with a blanket and maybe YouTube or honestly even my book. I think I prefer to read right now. <sighs> so I'm going to do the two errands that I have to do. Well, the three errands. I don't have to get food. I could eat something at home, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I'd really like to go to like Panera or something. Hmm. That sounds good, like a nice, ooh, or McAllister's Deli. Do you guys have those where they have like, um, that's pretty, that's nice. I'm um, just a doll. Um, they have like soups and salads and a salad and a sandwich sounds yummy. Or Olive Garden breadsticks and salad. Mm -hmm. Breadsticks and soup, soup and salad. That's the word I'm looking for, soup, salad, breadsticks. I don't know what I'm looking for. Even sushi sounds good. I guess I'm just hungry, so I don't know what I want. Mm. A nice warm bed sounds nice. A nice cup of tea. Ooh. Here I go again. <laughs> so, work was good. It was productive. Everybody went to barbecue for lunch. They asked if I wanted to go, but I really didn't want to because I knew that if I did, I'd just want to fall asleep. And then I would just prolong how long I was there, which isn't a problem. I could stay there longer. Just getting there early and doing all my stuff. And I just, I don't know. I was just ready to call it a weekend. Ooh, there's a police officer. Hello, Mr. Police Officer. Um... I don't like it when they hide. 
<laughs> I don't think that's fair. Give us a fair shot. If I'm speeding, I'm speeding. And I guess if you're hiding, you're hiding. So what the heck. Um, I'm going to turn here and go in to get his glasses. I will feel better about myself that I did that. Even though I'd love to put it off until Monday. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I didn't get them today. But I have no good reason not to. Other than I just don't want to. What is going on here? Oh, it's a big... Oh, here we go. Ugh, ugh. They're messing with the road, trying to repave it, it looks like. Hoo-wee, I should probably go on the other side. Or maybe it ends up here. Nope, it doesn't look like it ends up here. Oh well, there's cars on the other lane. And this ambulance is going on my side. This is weird. I guess they like take up the road to put down new road and it's been raining so much that there's potholes everywhere. Oh goodness. Almost there though people. like on the way back well you know what I might go that way on the way back I don't know I'll figure out something <sighs> all right there's princess parking right up front this shouldn't take me long. So I will be back. I don't know if I'll vlog anymore. Or we'll see. I'm kind of boring right now. Lazy. <laughs> Bye. All right, so I got my husband's glasses, and I know I have you guys facing the road. So let's see. We have to head to the bank. Put our errands together. <laughs> the bank and food. And then maybe we can go home and read. Play with the kitty cats and the puppy dogs. And someone had asked me for an update on something. Gosh, I'm trying to remember now. And I said I would try to remember to do it in this vlog. Oh, goodness. I just told him that this morning, too, and I don't remember what it was when I was answering some comments. Well, if I think of it, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll just continue to blab away <laughs> on whatever I feel like is important. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to go because the bank that I bank at, well, the bank that I need to go to, it is not the most convenient bank. Ugh. I'm gonna get on the good side of the road. See what I mean, how they're doing that side. They've already done this side. So yeah, and it is Cinco de Mayo, so I don't know. We've talked about going to Mexican tonight, and I love me some Mexican, you guys know that I do, but I hate me some crowds, so I'm not sure that the good outweighs the bad on that. I just might pass on Mexican tonight, and let that be a another day thing another day another and to go to the other places I would have to be turning left like if I wanted to go to Michael's or Joanne's or whatever but to go to the bank I have to turn right so that's another reason why I should just not worry about it today tell myself that they were having sales but goodness gracious when don't they have a sale and I don't buy anything that's not on sale anyway so what's it matter ding back ding back ding back um I haven't been this way for a long time I wonder what I'll see actually I think I might go straight and then turn 
further down. I don't even know if I can really do that. I'm gonna check. And since I have my friends with me, you're gonna come along. We'll find out together. I usually turn there, but then you have to like go through like some business district and I don't know. It's just really not the best way. So I'm kind of wondering if there's a second way. I'm sure that there has to be. Because this is one of the, this is like a busy street. And then the next street that I want to get, this is 82nd. The street that I want to get on is 96th. And it's kind of a busy street too. I don't want to go too far down though because then I will have passed the bank. So I wonder what road this is. It looks kind of busy. Castleton Boulevard. No, and that side is Castle Lake. Oh, this kind of looks like a neighborhood. Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry people. Actually, there's nobody behind me. I'm not gonna turn there. I don't wanna turn into a neighborhood. I want a street. I wonder what this one is. That looks like a neighborhood too or something. Early Learning Center. Actually, that looks like a street. Kind of. Oh no, it turns into a school. Never mind. Well, shoot, I might have, in my not wanting to go through their business district, I may have messed up and we'll have to go backtrack a little bit. But it won't be very far, so it's not a big deal. There is a Tuesday morning over here, and someone said that they saw, my friend C said that she saw some seesaw. <laughs> She saw, crack me up. She, see, saw some, yeah, a sergeant will go through. Uh, what did she see? Halloween stuff at Tuesday morning. And actually, this is a very scenic route. My daughter used to work at Community last, she was an intern, and she would take this way just because she liked the way that it looked, the scenery. The problem is, is that when you get to 96th Street on this road, to turn left, it's sometimes difficult. But at this time of day, it shouldn't be too bad. But it is kind of pretty, and this is nice for you guys. Although, it, you can see how high the water is. I mean, there's water back there that wasn't supposed to be there. I guess I could clean my windows. sprinkling but it's not really raining right now oh no road closed ahead <laughs> probably because of the rain oh no and there's a car behind me so what can I do detour ahead okay I'll just take the detour I suppose and there's a guy like right on my tail road closed to through traffic and it says to go this way so I guess I will go this way I don't want to get stuck turn around don't drown oh good the car went the other way so so who knows where I'll end up guys but it's still pretty so we got that going for us to get money out for my kid. I should just go buy something and do the cash back. I don't know if you can take, I was going to give him 50 bucks. I don't know if you can take that much out when you do cash back. I don't know. And it's okay. I'll just do it this way. I'm going to give him $50 and tell him that he can use that for dinner. He's already got his ticket. He has his tux. He has everything he needs. $50 will be plenty for dinner um, where he won't have to feel like he has to be careful about what he orders and if he wants to order dessert he can still order dessert and not that he would want to but you know I just want him to not have to worry I love how um, or I, I remember how that feels you know, when you're trying to save your budget, your money when you're a teenager and 
you go somewhere because your friends want to go there and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I have enough money and you don't want to ask them because they're teenagers too and they'll be at prom so you won't want to ask. And I guess if all else fails, he still has his debit card and he could use that. And if there were ever an emergency, I could put money on that, but I wouldn't say food is an emergency. So there, yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So it looks like here's the, this is the road that I was going to turn on the start. <laughs> oh, well, you guys got to see a little bit of Indiana pretty, cause that is pretty. It is a pretty route. I think it's cute that my daughter called that the scenic route and like to take that way. I also think it's pretty funny that we just went like five miles out of the way to be on the same road that I would have been on had I turned in the first place. Oh well. some of the business stuff but some of it's still up here it's not horribly businessy but this is like all business yeah, I mean there's just businesses on each side and it's just nothing fun there's a movie theater up here But even that has gotten kind of crummy around this area. I don't know. This used to be really kind of an upper class kind of a place. Well, still middle class, but upper middle class kind of a area. And it's not anymore. the highway that I've taken you guys on before. We're just on the side road next to the highway. And this leads to lots of different things like there's shopping and food and Sam's Club is down this way. When I go to my Sam's Club I would turn left on the road that I'm going to be turning right on. It's a Ruby Tuesday up here. I love that, but I'm not going to go there by myself. Especially without my book. So to the right is the uh, movie theater. Right there. And the lovely thing to hold my phone up. Look at the clouds, man. That's wild. I need to get over. It looks like I need to get all the way over. Like I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Blow my brains out. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Wendy's. I can always go to Wendy's. Get their baked potato and chili. That's a good combo. Panda Express. Steak and Shake. The baked potato chili combo sounds pretty good at Wendy's right now. Maybe I'll do that, but if I do, I'll go to the one that's closer to my house just so it'll be or more when I get home. Not that anything is too far. Just that why not make it as fresh as I can make it. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking Wendy sounds good because I can get tea or a lemonade. They have good lemonade. I don't know. Um, 
so funny, like, talking to yourself. There's a place called Project Pie over there. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but apparently you, like, make your own pizza pie. I am not familiar with that one. There is another one called Blaze that is pretty cool. It's like Subway for pizza. You, like, go through the line and tell them what you'd like on your pizza. And then you can just get it all put on there. And then they cook it in, like, two minutes. It's crazy. Oh, there was a accident. Nothing too bad. <laughs> My charms are rickety. Oh, they're steak and shake. That does sound good too. Oh, steak and shake has a good chili salad thing, a taco salad with chili. Hmm, maybe I'll go there. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Alright, well, I guess I should let you guys go. And I can vlog again some more. Tomorrow is Taz's class, which will be fun. I haven't done a ton of homework with them, but I have worked with them, so that's good. I haven't read the papers yet, though. I need to do that. I left them in the car, and they're in the way back, and I just have never gotten them out. So, I need to do that. I don't know. I think I'll just take out 100 bucks and give him 50 and I'll have some cash, because I don't ever, hardly ever carry cash with me anymore. It's kind of nice to have some cash. Some money in your pocket. Do, 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 do. So, for you guys that are watching from other places, do you guys go to the bank this way? Is this how you guys bank? It's so interesting to learn what other countries do. Okay, I'm going to turn it off now. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, can you see that water? That is not supposed to be there. This is a parking lot. Isn't that crazy? Holy smokes. So I was, oh my gosh, it's all the way over here. That is crazy. I was gonna go to Steak and Shake and I thought, ooh, I'll get some chili and a taco salad thing. Cause it's kind of Cinco de mayo -y and it's chili and I felt like that was gonna be a good choice. But you know what? They're closed. There's cars there. But they said that they're closed for maintenance. So I don't know what that means, but okay. So now what? I guess I'm back to my Wendy's plan. But I just wanted to show you that water. And yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, here we are going to get his hair cut or neck trimmed or whatever he decides he wants. Neck trimmed. Okay. Because I'm growing my hair. I'm going to have a man bun. Oh, Lordy. Oh, see what I have to look forward to people walking the tracks so he's getting ready to go to prom it's 11 30 his friend is picking him up at 2 I guess I'm just gonna take pictures of him before he leaves and then he's gonna get pictures of the group for me so that I can have some pictures and I will post them hopefully at the end of this vlog so that you guys can see them too but so I asked him and I'm gonna ask again are you gonna dance are you going to dance with one of the girls? No. I'm going to dance by myself. Does that not crack you guys up? Because that cracks me up. Why? I'm not dancing with a girl. God, no. <laughs> but I'll dance with the guys, sure. Oh, yeah. He says he loves dancing. Who knew? One of my friends, I think she's from England, she said that you are a good-looking lad. I thought that was cute. Right <laughs> what? Right on. Right on, that's right. <laughs> so this is the thing nowadays that you just go with a bunch of friends. Like, he doesn't have a girlfriend per se, so he just, they're just all going as friends. But people go as couples too, right? Yeah. Well, it's more fun to me, really, as just a group of friends. 
Why is it more fun that way? You don't have to worry about having a girlfriend. Like less pressure to... Yeah, and you don't have to buy their tickets. <laughs> and that's like five million dollars. What he says is true. And dinner. Yeah. I You're only dinner. responsible for you. Yeah. So it's less worries too, so... So, Ben's gonna get you at two. You're gonna go meet somewhere and get more dolled up. Oh, you're going to a waterfall? <sighs> you're gonna get pictures. You're not gonna push any of the girls in, are you? Maybe. No, you're not. They try to take a picture with just me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that one girl's going to. Definitely not. That's what I really do now. I don't even want her to go. <laughs> There's this little girl that's going that has a little bit of a crush on Alex and has forever. And yeah, he isn't into it. Not at all. I'm gonna be excited to see Brady's picture though. I haven't seen her for a long time, but I remember I remember her a little bit. Yeah, Brady's cute. Yeah, and she's kind of she's got dark hair, it's long, yeah. well it was. Straight. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Okay. Yeah, she is cute. But she's a total tomboy, he says, and they're not. Do you think the girls are gonna dance? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But just as themselves. What the heck? He's in a hurry for something. Uh, so, yeah, this is what we're doing today. And it's a beautiful day out. Thank God it was supposed to rain. Yeah, it turned out very nice. So, next time you see Alex, he will be in his beautiful tuxedo. It is very nice. He got it yesterday. Sharp dressed man right here, right here. And we're going to sports clips. I'll just let you go in. Is that cool? Yeah. I'll go park down there, but I can let you out here if you want me to. Do you have a wall I can use for the park? Do you have like three dollars or something I can tip them with or something? Yeah. Actually, I think all of this is yours. There's, I think, make sure there's $55 there. Yep. Okay. So you can either give her the five or you can ask for a couple dollars back. Is that all right? You have three dollars. I don't. She'll, she'll give you two dollars back. I mean, she's going to say, can I have two dollars back? Yeah. I'm not going to say that. That's rude. Well, just give her the five. It's all right. But it's not rude. Shoot. Thank you. You're welcome. Crazy kid. So yeah. <laughs> so we had dog training this morning. And that was good. Dennis and I went. And Taz is a cute dog. I just love that dog. He has some learning to do, but that's okay. He, he'll get there. He's learned today it was Come, stay, leave it, and we're still learning like how to walk with the with your with you know with with a loose leash um, where they're not pulling or anything. So that was cool. I think that he he got it. He got it. He's he will get it. He hasn't got it yet. I'll turn off the car. Um, it's 54. I was gonna look. I think it's 54 degrees. It feels warmer than that, though. Actually, it feels like it's probably close to 65 or 70. It feels nice in the sun. Um, 
so yeah um the leave it's pretty interesting like she said that she wants it to be so like if you say leave it they won't mess with it so like if you're fumbling around and you drop a pill or something like that you say leave it and you won't have to worry about the dog trying to eat it or anything so that was pretty cool I like that idea um don't want her to think I'm talking to myself. Not that I really care what other people think, but um, that's a massage envy. That sounds really good. I might have to tell Dennis we need to go get massages here soon. We like to do the couples massage lots of times. That works out well for us. Um, I say we like to do it. We haven't done it in probably a year. So once a year we go get a massage. That's probably close to what it is. I'd like to make it more. I'd really like to get a pedicure and then go get a massage with a nice foot massage. Oh my gosh. And the back massage, but I don't like the deep tissue massage. Man, it's like, here, I'll pay you money to beat me up. <laughs> no, thank you. It's awful, 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 awful. And we are really close to a Target. I'd really like to say, Al, let's go to Target and see the dollar spot, but I'm not going to because I know he wants to get, I know he's anxious and it's cute. Um, Dennis isn't all about it. I don't know why he's not real excited. I mean, I guess it's just because it's not his thing. He's not excited that it's prom or anything. He doesn't really care. And the kids have a hotel for tonight, which is kind of neat that one of the moms, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, so I'm oh, sorry if I did, but I might even ask Alex to tell it because he, he knows it better than me. But one of, the, one of the dads travels a lot, so the mom rented two rooms next to each other one that she's going to stay in and it's adjoining, adjacent, adjacent to the room that the kids have and she got them both for free. So that's pretty neat. Oh, Al just texted and said there's a line. Ooh, maybe I'll text him and say, can I go to Target? So I'll be back. Well, fun. He said that he didn't care if I ran to Target, like uh, there was time. So I am rolling them up. And I'm um, gonna go to Target, which is just right across the little street here. Happy Dragon is right over here. This is where we order our Chinese food from a lot. They know our phone number, it's crazy. We probably order at least once a week. People are so strange. I can't figure out. I just can't. I guess I don't need to. So this is the Target Street. And it's not busy, so I can go across. That's usually busy. There used to be a slushy place over here. I don't see it anymore, darn it. It kind of sounded good. But that's okay. I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway. So I'm going to try to park over by the... Oh, there's a Mario and a Luigi red ball. I saw that on somebody else's vlog. Meredith, if you're watching, you're who I saw that. <laughs> I'm just going to check out the dollar spot, see what I can see. I don't think I really need anything else. I'm sure if I tried hard, I could think of a million things, but I love Target. I just put on that side. Oh, I just passed up a spot. Well, dang, nabbit, Tammy. Tammy, 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 Tammy. I'll take you in there, I think. Oh, yeah, this is a good spot. It's right by the carts. That's sometimes a good spot and sometimes not a good spot. Oh, somebody's picking up the cart, so I'll wait so I won't hit him. That'd be nice of me, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll wait. I don't want to hit you. <laughs> All right. Target, here we come. Okay, there's Luigi. And there's Mario over there. Pretty cute. Very cute, very cute. Alright, here's the mud house. Ballet bag. Let's get this. Beach towels. 
Those are cute. Oh, it's in the car. Light up, believe Kid size. All right, you ready to go? Where's Daddy? There he is. He's down here. Okay, so I did a little bit of damage, not very much at the old Target dollar spot. And Alex texted and said he's done already, so worked out pretty good. So I'm just going to go get him. I had to stop videoing in Target because I just can't handle people like that. Too many people. Too many kids. I almost didn't buy anything. Um, I was just like, nope. I don't need anything this bad. I don't like stuff like that, but it turned out okay. Oh, whoops. He's like walking around. Why well, you have your hat on? That's cool. Oh. She was vulnerable. She said, what? Look, didn't even cut my... I said, can you cut right here? And she said, I'm not supposed to. Oh my gosh. So she literally only cut the back of my head. <laughs> she didn't cut my sideburn or right here. Did you give her the five bucks? Yeah. <laughs> well, do you want a haircut? What do you mean? Like, tell him to cut it. Huh? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, so I just got home from Target. I guess I'll show you guys what I got. It's not a huge, big... Well, it's $30, I guess, so 30 things are close to. So let's see. I found this notepad, super chill, <laughs> with a cute little popsicle with sunglasses on the bottom. I thought that was cute. And I found a few of these little things. It's a ballpoint pen, and then it has a donut on the top. Super cute. And here's another one with the hamburger on top. And this has hamburgers and hot dogs and ketchup on the pen. So these were a dollar. I think that's cute. I might send a couple. They had more of these. I didn't know if I even wanted this. I might give this away. I really like it, but I have so many pens. But this one's really cute, so it's hard to resist when they're a dollar and they're super cute. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one yet. I got these stretchy mermaids. They were a dollar. Thought they'd be fun in pocket letters. Um, I got this for my daughter's dorm for next year. I thought it was cute. It's a little mermaid set. <laughs> and they're just the gel things that you can push on. and They're fun and squishy. Then I got this. I don't know. It was three dollars. It has write it down and then some tabs and then some bigger tabs in a bigger post-it note. So I thought it was kind of cute. I don't know. I need it like I need a hole in my head, but it's already punched well, for, I guess, their planner. You can see on this side maybe better that it's already punched. So I don't know. That's kind of neat to put in a planner, I suppose. Maybe I'll take that to work. They only had one of these and I thought it was kind of cute. So I got that for a dollar. Just all the different fast foodie stuff. Another one of the hamburger pens. This was cute. It has magical notes and then the rainbow, the unicorn, the cloud with raindrops, and this says, wow. And this is a push crayon, and it's just on a, ham on a hot dog for some reason. But I used to love these. You like push it to the end till you get to the color that you want, and then you just use it as a crayon. I thought that'd be fun maybe to travel with. 
And I don't even like Star Wars, but I thought these were cute. And they were only a dollar, so I just picked those up. And you put them on the end of your pencil. They're erasers. Another one of those push pens for pocket letters or whatever. And this one's really cute. It has sharks on the bottom. And then the shark face. Another one of those. And a pad with sharks. And a pad that says party notes. And then at the bottom is a skateboard and hamburger. And this one was cute. It's just a popsicle. A multicolored popsicle. And I got some pencils. These have hamburgers and hot dogs and snacks, I guess. And this one has mermaids. And then the last three things I think I picked up are all the same, but different. So this is post-it notes, and it has the ice cream note section, and then the page flag looks like icing or sprinkles, sweet, tasty, yum page flags, a smaller donut that says hello, and then a small ice cream cone that says cool. And then, see I mostly get them because I love this. So this one is the unicorn. And then this says, today is awesome. And this one says magical notes. Magical, awesome, amazing. And then there's a unicorn, a rainbow, and a cloud. And then this one has the pineapple. And it has love it, too cool, hello, a strawberry banana, and a watermelon. And this says just a note. And that one says hi there. So really cute. So that's all I got at Target. So, oh no, I got some Altoids. I was gonna give this to Alex for the prom. <laughs> so it cost thirty-two fifty-two with my red card. So not too bad. All right, I'll talk to you later.